Okay. So to start of the game. And well, I thought, why well, not record it? Uh, <clears throat> it's a standard game, 15 minutes each and 10 seconds on each move. He played the move e4, and I went for the French defense with e6. e4, d5, knight c3, bishop b4. Now, queen g4, a rather rare, 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 a rare variation that. Hasn't been played that often against me, but somehow it's played against me in, in a Blitz game the other day. Um, actually, I don't remember the theory quite well here, but I know Knight of Six is the movement he takes. I have to go here. And then my memory has run out. Uh, there's some sort of uh, c5 or something. I can always take on e4, but then h7 hangs. Uh, f g6, queen h4, then I can take on e4, it takes on b8. I somehow think. Let's see if I can move here. But I just can't remember. I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I mean, I could play rook g6, queen h4, rook g4, and take on e4 with the rook, but that's a uh, shaky position for the rook. Hmm. Campbell on c5. Campbell, Campbell. Yeah, this is one of those rare lines. You kind of have to know about, but uh, if it's not played that often against you, you tend to. Forget the details. Okay, in the Blitz game the other day, it wasn't a very high rate at the point, but he played bishop b5, I remember. Which doesn't make a ton of sense. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure about this move. C5. We'll look it up. Maybe. The game. So can he play E5 here? And I won't have to start calculating stuff. Definitely. C takes d4, or C takes d4 immediately. But he plays a3. It would be nice to have a5 here, but. Ah, then this guy would hang, so maybe I can play rook g6. Queen h4, queen a5. And this move in general is useful. Just to free the queen from defending the knight. Now taking the rook seems just bad. I can insert bishop takes c3, so it's out of the question. Mm. H4 somehow seems like the most natural move. To me at least.
But still, the situation has changed now. We have C5 in, so maybe I can think about Rook here now. And takes, and then there's maybe even hanging on D4. But at the moment, I'm down a pawn. But instead, I have. Well, sort of a slight lead in development and some pressure on the center and perhaps some, some things for him to worry about. But we'll see. Yeah, there's always a question if we should be, what we should be doing on our opponent's time. And it depends, you know, sometimes it's good just to think about the position. You know, conceptually, you know, what do I want to do, you know, get my queen set pieces out maybe, you know, increase the pressure, blah, blah, blah. Because calculating, you can also calculate some moves, but sometimes it's better just to, to wait for, his, for your opponent's move, especially if he has uh, a lot of options. He is certainly taking his time. Certainly. Yeah, I think more like Bishop B5 just allows me to do. Interpose with the bishop, probably. Or go knight c6, I'm not sure. Bishop d7 seems like a more threatening move. Yeah, it just helps me develop and leaves the g2 square undefended. Taking a long time on this move. Um, I usually says if he has disconnected, so seems like he's just thinking. He is indeed spending a large amount of time on this move. It goes back to E3. Hmm. Queen A5. Bishop D2. C takes D4. Queen takes D4. C6. Bishop B5. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh feels like there may be some potential tactics here. Mm. A five, I think he Like he takes e5, but there's he takes e5, and then knight takes e4. Mm. So I should be looking at that's some forcing moves. And, okay, because he takes e3, doesn't okay. I get the pawn back, but I'm uh, giving up the bishop here. I don't like that. C takes d4, uh, queen takes d4. Now bishop is attacked. I can play knight c6. Still the tempo, but there's bishop b5 pinning my knight. What do I do there? Now my bishop of b4 is. Well, you can 
take on P4, now it takes P4. Yeah, hello. If I don't make a good move, then uh, P4 is just hanging. Maybe if I'm late, she's here. Yeah, yeah, okay. <sighs> so I'm starting to think Queen A5 is a good move. Just to protect my bishop, pin the A pawn. Keep up with some threats if D T5, maybe knight C6 is also a move. Also sometimes I have to figure uh, factor in this move, A B, Queen A1. Interesting uh, exchange sacrifice. If we go here, takes on D5. I take on D4, Queen takes, that takes D5, check D5 check. This is tricky and dangerous. Very tricky, very dangerous. B5, 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 A, B4, Queen A1, Knight, D5. Very tricky. There is C, D4. And I'm getting a headache. My calculations are not very good. E5, D5, maybe we should take C3 first. Oops, takes D4. Mm-hmm. Okay, feels like move. I haven't seen any. Hopefully not immediately losing or anything, but... <laughs> If he takes, I'm forced to take a one. So, well, no need to pre move anything. It's not a free mini game, so there's no real, uh, real benefit to gaining like one or two seconds since we get 10 seconds on each move. And time trouble is fairly unlikely to be to be a factor. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Well, <laughs> having said that, it's possible that time could actually be a factor. So triple spending our time. It's a very sort of how to put it. It's not a very rational line. You know, White has almost all the element. He has moved his queen one, two, three, four times. Only one piece out. Black has compromised the structure on the king side, can't really, or can't castle there anymore. It's a very, very odd position. But I do believe that this move is not considered, uh, the queen g4 move is not considered to be a great option for white. And I think it's actually more dangerous on the fifth move that we play. Uh, if you play a3, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, d takes e4, and queen g4. Completely different variation, but in that case, you have you have the bishop there, and uh, it's more dangerous. Bishop has played it, but. He lost the famous game against uh, Kovacevic. So now, yeah, there are actually a lot of options options to calculate here. The first move that came to my mind was bishop to d2, just to unpin this knight on c3. 
but white also has to yeah, okay press that move also kind of has to calculate some some captures in the center as well I kind of like uh, taking d4 I don't know why still down a pawn maybe I need to uh, attend to that a little bit more Ugh. Zero, bishop, b5, queen, b5. <sighs> Crikey. Crikey. Hmm. It's a move like knight to g4 at all an option. What's the idea? Can I play e5? No, probably not. It's a bit drastic. <coughs> it's, a, <coughs> it's a tricky position. Now, one thing that I have to be careful of is if I take d4, quick text d4, knight c6, there's bishop b5, pinning my knight, and now he's trying to take on b4 with the queen. You can play like bishop d7, there's bishop, takes c6, and b4 is hanging. Also, I'll take on c5, queen takes, uh, no, sorry, take on d4, queen takes d4, bishop c5, there's also bishop b5 check, and the problem is, if I take it with the queen, knight takes, and I take on d4, of course then I lost a piece in the exchange, or did I? No, I didn't. Bishop b5, I'll take it, takes with the knight, so one piece, I'll take on d4, brings it back, and then maybe g2 hangs. That could be an option, so she takes d4, queen takes d4, bishop g5. Then again, you can also just play more like queen d3 or something. What to do, really? Really? <sighs> it's a rough position, huh? Knight g4 felt like a move for a minute, but what next? Let's six a move, then bishop b5. Probably g2 hangs, maybe uh, we just play this move. But if e takes d5 there, c takes d4. Let's just go for this. If in doubt, just develop, you know. So also maybe knight takes d4. Yeah, she ta uh, e takes d5, knight takes d4 might be a better option. Maybe. Yeah. There's always, you know, d2 can always hang in return. If he develops the bishop. I totally missed that. Uh, I can maybe castle queenside. But, uh... Right now he can't because I take on d4. So probably he has to do something about that situation before proceeding. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens to my king. If a castle, then my only option is, is queen side, but we'll have to see how the game develops. Maybe uh, the king will be best 
serve the stain in the center of the board. That's very much a possibility. I like, I like that he's spending a lot of time here. I'm sure now. Spending a lot of time. Is that some kind of weird good move? Possibly, maybe. Um, like rook g4, bishop or b5. It takes e4, maybe. If uh, rook g4, if e5 or he takes d5, then I can take on d4. It's a weird looking move, but I kind of like it. Can you move the knight to one pin one and turn e4? It's a weird move, but the castles now, castles go inside. Aha, uh -huh, maybe you can do that. Maybe you can do that. Taking on A3 is always a possibility also. I somehow like this move, but uh, let's just do it. sure what's going on. Not at all. I'm thinking now if, if, if castle's queen set. Think about some options of leaving the bishop and going knight takes. That at least runs made, but there's king b1. And there might be some rook takes e4 move. It's interesting. But, yeah, to tell you the truth, I have no clue what's going on. Just trying to find moves to play. And I would be curious to to uh, see what the theory is. Uh, I kind of ran out after knight f6 and rook g8. Also, it would be interesting to see what the computer thinks of my moves. So, fortunately, he's spending a lot of time, and I would be very optimistic if there was no increment, but since there's a 10 second increment there, so I mean, it's never going to be like a ridiculous time scramble, but it will be a time scramble. I 
Aktar da link. Careful with queen side dish. Option here. And I have to do something about my bishop on b4, which is now being attacked. If he, on the other hand, was king side, how does he do that? He has no bishop, but where? Knight takes d5. That move I did not anticipate, or see. Obviously, but it's a good move. I have rook e4 uh, at some point, so I think this was a blunder. It takes on b4, the screen takes this, so I think it just forgot about this. Let's, let's check. I mean, he sacrificed a piece, so I'm already on a piece. So sacrificing the queen is not going to be... An option. I don't think I missed anything, so I think he just blundered away the game there. So only has one minute and twenty seconds. We should take b4. Uh, I can't take on e3, it depends how I want to take the queen. Um, it takes b4 is probably even better. It'd be even better. Takes e3, f takes e3, it takes uh, b4. Long castles, not takes d5, etc. That's not. Complicated matters too much, that's a check. Each uh, and one of these. Queen and the knight for a rook. It's a pretty sweet deal. And unfortunately, all the pawns are not gonna be sufficient compensation for that. So here he should probably sign, which he does. GG. Okay, so let's uh, have a quick look at this game. The French defense, and well, uh, my recording was a little late, uh, so it takes a while to fire up, and uh, well, I wasn't really planning on. Recording at the start of the game and thought, well, okay, might as well, you know. And, okay, the Vinever variation of French, signaled by this move. The other option is Knight of Six, of course. Well, might not the Rook. Sharp variation with uh, Queen G4. Here I didn't really know the theory, uh, Queen H6. But, uh, yeah, I played c5, but something like this, queen e3. Uh, this is all possible. Yeah, I guess my takes e4, something like this. Of course, that re regains the pawn immediately and is probably a safer option. I went c5 which of course threatens to take and, uh, 
if you at some point goes a3, yeah, I can go g6 and queen a5, maybe like in the game. You want a3? Uh, I thought I need to protect this guy because I wanted to play this move. But uh, maybe it's not a good move. Here there were some options. He went bishop d2, which looks like the safest move. Maybe this is an interesting move. I think I mentioned out loud that this is probably not a good move for a b4, leaving the rook to its fate, but also I'm pinning this guy, which now can take on d5 and uh, I have an attack after something like this. Um, Yeah, what's going on here? Any ideas? Let's see, bishop b5 check. Don't know why, just testing out moves, just testing moves. Uh, yeah, necessary check on c7, which I of course saw, but I'm wondering what's square. I'm not sure. Let's see here, we're attacking this guy, but I like the other square a little bit better. Oh, okay, there's more tactics. Maybe there's more tactics. Queen here, uh, we're still covering this guy, covering this guy, but maybe there's... There's e5 still. Can't be a lot to take here. Yeah, this looks uh, quite complicated, I'm not sure what's going on here. So something we need to ask the computer. If something like this works for white, then uh, he's doing well. Uh, yeah, take off g5 doesn't seem like a very good option. Yeah, just take on e4. And okay, we're talking this among other things. This as well, so not a good move. So he went for the safe move, but he takes d5 is the interesting move for further analysis. Uh, now I went knight c6. This would have been the ideal move. Maybe I didn't capture this well enough. I thought it was annoying. There are problems with this guy. I certainly don't want to take on c3, losing my my precious bishop. But maybe I didn't calculate something like this far enough. At first, I thought I was losing a piece, but of course, it's just uh, an exchanging operation. Uh, he has to regain a piece here, so he's forced to take on. D4, knight c7 is probably not a good move. Uh, I'm just playing a king. Then we'll get down c2, something like that. Uh, I'll probably win this guy. So I guess this. But now there's check on d4. Might be better for black because check and this is hanging. So probably I should have investigated that plan a little bit more. I can run it off. Here you want knight f3. Fortifying the center. Wasn't sure about castles. Well, not yet. He has to cover the square first. And now I went to rook g4. And well, at first I thought it was interesting. Some pressure on these pawns, indirect pressure on d4 if he uh, moves the e pawn and takes a place e5 and it can capture on d4. 
But there's a simple move that I simply overlooked here. What if you just place h3? Just question this uh, silly rook. And if I have to retreat, then I would just have lost the whole move. And it's usually not good when there's tension in the position. So h3 probably would have given me some problems. Instead, he blundered immediately in that text d5. Probably missing that he now lost control of the e4 square, which is a nice knight was covering when he started his calculations. So rook e4 simply skewers the queen. Game over. So, yeah, this was only 40 moves, but uh, still a long and tough battle, you know. And I was perhaps fortunate that uh, I didn't mess up, despite the low, num low number of moves. You know. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if you're still here, kudos. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.